Welcome back to our house for a very different episode to our normal DIY projects. Hopefully one that makes you wonder, how on earth is this possible? I discovered what I'm about to show you about a year ago, and it's fascinated me ever since. After returning home from a grocery shop, I decided to see if adding only the dollar amounts of the items on the shopping receipt, how close would it come to the full total dollar cost. To my surprise, it was close. In fact, it was very close to within one dollar of the total amount. So I kept doing this for every shop afterwards and it happens very often, probably in the tune of nine out of every 10 receipts, possibly even higher. So I thought I'd share this with you as I find it quite fascinating. Here's how it works. If you have an item that's 49 cents and below, you round down. If you have an item that's 51 cents and up, you round up. If you have an item that is exactly 50 cents, you round down for the first item, then round up for the next, and just keep following that pattern. Let's try a few receipts now, starting with a small one, and then we'll move on to the larger receipts. Now, although this receipt actually did work, it's not the greatest example of a receipt in the sense that it has a lot of items with round numbers, $4, $5, but it does make up part of my last six receipts. So let's move on to the next example. So within one dollar once again. Enough with the small receipts, let's start moving on to the larger ones. At this point, I hope you're starting to get freaked out. What on earth is going on here? How can this be happening? Let's have a look at an even larger receipt now.
And there it is once again, within $1 of the total amount. Now there were 29 items on that shopping list, far too many to be so consistently within a dollar. If you think you know what's going on, please let me know in the comment section because I'm sure we'd all be interested. Let's have a look at one more big receipt. So just 15 cents off the total amount and this receipt had 36 items. Now I just did a shop the other day so we're going to do just one more receipt. It wasn't a big shop but I have not checked the outcome of this receipt so we are going to find out together. Let's do it now. So there we go. It boggles my mind how reliably this happens. Hopefully this has inspired you to give it a go yourselves, so make sure you save your next grocery shopping receipt. Please let me know in the comments section how you went. If you found this video interesting, please consider hitting the like button, and if you'd like to see more, hit that subscribe button too. We'll see you next time, and thanks for joining us. Bye for now.